record and stream. All right, bro. I gotta fucking run this intro. Again, All right, bro. welcome to the Road oh, to Hell podcast. Yell. Come on, bro. Let let me. Okay, hold on. You know I'm gonna set you up. I'm gonna do it right. right. The only thing you're finna touch is this part right here to go back and forth. Right. Goddamn. Pull this bitch right there. Yeah. Up, yeah. There right How's that feel? Don't fucking loop it. Now if you're finna move it, you move it this way. You move back it and forth, way. not That's up it. and down. No. Got it. Move up and down. Just, Got it. Just that. Got that, it, bro. All right. You do the opening this time. Fuck it, whatever. Okay. Welcome to the Road to Hell podcast, where we talk about everything from hell and back. My name is Gianni Gonzalez. And uh, I'm Miguel Anacleto. And we're here to talk about some fucked up shit today, all right? We got a lot on our list. All right. How you been, man? It's been a minute since I've seen you, actually. Yes, Gianni's been in Arizona for Christmas, so yeah. we haven't seen each other in a minute. First of all, why are you doxing me like that? Arizona? Really? I'm just saying. What's your mom and dad's address? <laughs> Tell them. Tell the chat what's your mom and dad's address. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, I've been gone for a while. I was uh, for three weeks actually. I've been out. Feels since, like fucking uh, two years. Yeah, I'm hoping it'd be two it's years. Been a minute. I haven't seen you since last year. Fuck you, dude. People would say that shit are so fucking dumb. I haven't seen you since last year. <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> See, listen to how good that sounds. It does. It sounds good. It sounds good. It does. Uh, motherfucker. Oh, is that? Hey, Ruben. Um, you're going on YouTube, by the way. I think it should maybe show on our video on the podcast. Today's podcast day. Road to hell. We're also streaming on Twitch. Follow us on our Twitch. I'll put it in the description. But um, your Twitch. Yeah, my Twitch. Um, I don't have one. My um, Twitch. Uh, 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 yeah, I've been gone for a minute because of the fact that I got bovid. Yeah, you probably shouldn't say the actual c word, but bovid is a good way to get around it. Yeah, yeah. Out. that's why I fucking said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good idea. Um, yeah, I'm be honest with you. Put me on my ass, man. Put me on my ass. I got yeah, a bad. I, 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 I FaceTime this dude one night, right? And he's like, "Why are you FaceTiming me?" I was like, "Oh, because I wanted to see what's up with you." And he's like, "Oh, I don't want you to see my face." So I'm like, "It's kind of weird. Why not? Like, you a female or some shit?" And he's like, "No, I got Vaseline all over my face." I'm like, yeah, "Bro, I did. what?" Just, and he points his face, or he points his phone at his face, bro, and it just looks like grease. <laughs> just <laughs> everywhere, just man. full of grease. I was Vaseline, like, is that Vaseline, you dead ass? Vaseline and vapor rub. Vapor rub's a shit, though. Every, That's like every Mexican every Mexican, household. Yeah, every Mexican household. My dad would come in, no mask, stand a foot away from me, leaning over me like he was fucking God, and would be like, hey, put this shit on, son. Put this shit on it. You'd be right. I'm like, dad, this has nothing to do with Dad, please leave me alone. Vaseline. And he was like, no, 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 no. Put this in vapor rub on. You be right. You be right. And I was like, please, God, get away. Put a mask on, bro. But uh, how was it going through Bovin? Genuinely. It wasn't bad. I mean, out of a 1 to 10, mm. I've had a lot of weird diseases. So out of 1 to 10, I'd put it at like a 6 or a 7 for a disease that I would not want to have again. Like, yeah. it was like, it was strong, man. For the first couple of days, it was strong as hell. It fucking rocked my shit, man. I got a text from you know my fucking friend and she went hey man i have covid and i was like damn that's crazy i wish you thanks for telling me that, that. yeah <laughs> yeah i wish you and fucking thank you thank and you. the worst part is right we in the car we're a thing so you know i get into the car and she's like how come you ain't kiss me when you get into the car and i was like i fuck aren't you sick it's 8 a.m why are you already starting right now mm -hmm. and uh and she went nah i, I want a kiss and i was like you know what it don't even fucking matter you right i'll give you a kiss so yeah. i give her a kiss oh, okay, never mind. and then we share drinks right nice and then like i get a text like five hours later she's like yeah i got bovid bro i'm I got, down i got bedovid bedovid <laughs> And um, yeah, that's how it fucking went. It wasn't fun. Zero out of ten recommend. Wouldn't give it to. I wouldn't want anyone else to know to have it. Um, is this the stream? Is this no? It ain't family. Fucking friendly. The fuck, fuck is no, called, baby. It's called Road to Hell, bitch. Fuck no, We're going baby. to hell. The lights are red, motherfucker. That's it's not family. I know. Friendly. If we turn off the ring light, it'll just be red in here. So. Oh, he said I'm kidding. Yeah, you better be. Fuck no, baby. Fuck no, baby. Fuck no, baby. <laughs> Well, yeah, Ruben, we're here if you want to just listen instead of watching. You know, you just put us in the background while you're doing some shit or something. Yeah, just ball out. Yeah, fucking, yeah, I wouldn't do it again. Yeah, that's for sure. Definitely. My lungs still, like, hurt. They still, like, Well, hurt. is it because it's punctured or is it because of COVID? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's uh, another story. It's a really weird feeling because uh, I've had, like, pneumonia and shit that, like, hurts your breathing and stuff like that. But this is the first one I've ever had where it was, like, I've had no problems with my lungs. It's just the air I would breathe in yeah. was like half of the air 
Oh. It felt like half the air. So I would take a breath and I'd be like, damn, that air just didn't hit right. <laughs> that shit just... This ain't premium oxygen. Yeah, right here, this bro. ain't that... This is that fucking uh, goddamn... Uh, what's that fucking goddamn. town called? Uh, fuck, what's the town called? And what's the capital of China? What's the capital of China? I don't remember. Beijing. Beijing. Yeah, this is that Beijing era right now, man, where it's like... <laughs> Fucking just straight smog and yeah, smoke, just, no matter what. It's that what. LA, it's that LA era, just man. hitting that just LA, <laughs> LA pack. <laughs> that oof, that boof LA yeah, pack. That boof LA pack. <laughs> In the boof, smoking on that LA pack, bro. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, that was weird. But other than that, I mean. My body, I've never had a disease physically beat the shit out of me in my life. Like, it felt like my whole body was a bruise. It felt like I got into, a, like, a really bad bar fight and then, like, like woke usual, up the next yeah. day. Yeah. Like usual. Yeah. And, um, man, like, everything hurt on my body. I was like, oh, God, please, <laughs> bro. Someone take me out of this misery, God damn. Take me out of this world right now. Please, bro. Yeah, oh, my mom. atrocious. It was awful. Um, yeah, so, COVID journey is one. We got, um... I started the good ones. We talk about Lowe's. I was the most atrocious person at Lowe's, man. Yeah, so me and Gianni here used to work at We probably a, shouldn't say the name. Honestly, at this point, who gives a fuck? Yeah, that's true. We used to work at a home appliance store called Lowe's, and there was a lot of dumb shit that it's happened It's actually there. where we met, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we met. So, do you want, I feel like we should tell the story of how we met. To, like, kind of set it up as our friendship I guess. wise, you know what I mean? Go ahead. I don't remember it too well. I know it was in Garden, and I said some gay things. Yeah, to I, he shit. worked in Garden. I worked as a cashier, and I was out there. So, cash- so all the cashiers would get switched to different departments throughout the day to, like, take up breaks and lunches and shit. Yeah. Just put that out there. And um, I was out there, and he, he Miguel had come up to me and asked me some dumbass question, and I went, what? And he was like, yeah, man, are you kind of cute. And I was like, bitch, you don't get the fuck away from me. And he was like, yeah, all right, my bad, I'm sorry. And then like, yeah, my bad, dog. And then I go out there and hang out with him and our other friend, Sam. Mm. It was fun as hell, man. It was a great time. I haven't seen Sam since last year. I, <laughs> I Keep in mind, this is coming last out. last time I saw Sam. coming out January 6th, 5th. So. The last time I saw Sam it was last was, year. Yeah, yeah, technically. Yeah. But it was in November of last year. Wow. So it's been a minute. Yeah. I mean, I was gone like half of December. Yeah, true. So, you know. But, um, yeah, that was the last time I saw him. Yeah, Lowe's was atrocious, man, because they moved me from cashier, which I already had bad experiences there, to customer service, which I'm not <laughs> a worse good than cashier. I'm yeah. not a good customer service person because I'm extremely aggressive mm-hmm. when it comes to things that annoy me. And, um, Fuck, I remember this one time when I was a cashier. I was working the self-checkout line, and this dude, it was like pff, an hour before closing, right? So all the... About like 10? Yeah. No, no at nine. this time, nine. Yeah, nine. So all the registers are closed, right? Yeah. And you just have self-checkout. So the dude came up, right? And he was like looking at the self-checkout machine like he had never seen a fucking computer in his life. <laughs> and was he older? No, he was 40. See, that's what I'm saying, right? Because... You, when you're working that job, right, old people, when they get frustrated, they get angry, right? Because they don't get it, right? So when they see a self-checkout machine, they get confused and frustrated and sad and it's angry. Sad. They get sad? Yeah, because they don't get it and nobody's helping them, right? Oh, yeah. So true. there's like a buffer you need for older people. Yeah, I feel that. <clears throat> because they don't get it. So mm-hmm. they're like, hey, why is no one helping me? It's like, all right, let's calm down. I'll help you out right now. No problem. And then it's fine, right? Yeah. This guy is not that fucking old. He does not have the right to be angry about a fucking <laughs> self-checkout machine. Yeah. He is late 30s, early fucking 40s. I feel that. So I'm like, bro, you have an iPhone. Shut up, bitch. It's less complex than that. It mm-hmm. tells you what buttons to press. <laughs> and um, he came up and he was like, hey, I need your help. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. So I walk over there and then the dude is like, yeah, so if you could just scan all this stuff for me and then I'll pay. And I was like, no. <laughs> and no. he was like what do you mean and i was like yes, see? no <laughs> so i was no. like yeah you see this is um self fucking checkout right you know english right right so um self checkout yeah, it yeah. means you yourself will scan this shit and pay and check out yeah you and then, yourself will and check he out. was like no i don't want to do this i pay you to do it for me and i was like first of all you don't pay me shit <laughs> i on god you don't pay me a goddamn thing i get paid by the store to stand here and watch all these people do this shit that's what and I sometimes steal, do. yeah. And sometimes steal. Yeah, they just watch people walk out with shit. Yeah, yeah without a doubt. We got paid to watch people steal shit. I didn't get paid to watch people steal shit. I, I did. Get, I got paid to Especially in people. lumber. God, it was so funny in lumber, <laughs> dude. 
We had motherfuckers just walk out like nothing, bro. Um, and this guy was like, if you don't scan this shit right now, I'm going to call your manager. And like, I looked at him, right? And the fucking switch flipped where I was like, I'm just going to murder him. What, what manager are we talking about here? We were talking about one arm Charlie. Oh, okay. So like, I looked at him and then I, the switch flipped and I was like, beat his ass. And then I was like, nope, click that shit down again. I can't do that. I'm, get, I'm on the clock. And I was like, you know what, man? I'm going to just call him for you. Yeah, we can just figure this out. I man. mean, I'm just calling for you, right? I'll so make it I easier for you, yeah. He's in receiving, so mm-hmm. it's like all the way across the store, right? And then I'm standing there, and he's like, so you're not going to help me? And I was like, motherfucking no. I'm not going to fucking help you. Mm-hmm. Duh. I said that already, right? <laughs> and then he was Made like. clear. And then he started talking shit. He yeah, was yeah. like, you know, your job's worthless, right? Like, you are got a dead-end job right now. Like, you're going to be replaced by a computer. And I was like, well, I better hope That's I'm not That's what the self, self-checkout machines are. I was are. like, I better <laughs> hope computers. not because then you're really going to be fucked if I'm replaced by a fucking computer, <laughs> bro. And then That's he was like, machines. he started scanning his shit, right? So uh, he knew how to fucking do it. What a fucking guy, He just guy, huh? refused to do it. What so guy, he was scanning dude. his shit, right? And then he started walking away. And I was like, oh, no. Nah. Oh, no, get back here. Wait, I got like 20 minutes left. Hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Just I'll meet you in the parking lot. Hold on. Was, Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Wait, I, fucking, I was like, right. dude, I'll take this vest off so quickly. And he was like, no, 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 I'm all right now. I'm all right now. Oh, is you good? Oh, you're good. I'll bet. You a fucking asshole. I never I saw that. him again. I never saw that guy at that store again. Yeah, I can imagine. The guy seems like a fucking dickhead. I have the most atrocious stories. From, bro, when I saw that dead body in the parking lot. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> That was crazy. I was like, this dude's hella dead. Hella dead. Dead as hell. Yeah, dead as hell. His wife and daughter came up to me, and they were like, do you think he's dead? And I was like, I look in the car, his eyes are open, he's thrown up on himself, and I was like, no, I think he should be fine. I think he's dead, man. (laughs) I think he's dead as hell. Oh, God. Dead as hell. I ain't even a cap cut. (laughs) That motherfucker dead as hell. I was like, God damn, that's (laughs) crazy. (laughs) Holy that motherfucker shit. gone, bro. Like gone as hell. What color your nipples, bro? What color your nipples? I asked his wife, what Pencil color his nipples, brown. bro? <laughs> Pencil shaved brown. Tree bark brown. Tree bark Fucking brown. goddamn khaki brown. Light khaki brown. All right, we could dip into Lowe's more, but that's going to take the whole hour. So let's move on to um, let's move on to uh, a we'll would you me. rather question. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, man. Would you rather have a thought daughter or a gay son? That is the main question. Would you have a, rather have a thought daughter or a gay son? Who do you, you want to answer first, or should I answer first? Uh, I already have my answer, so I mean, All right, go ahead. Let me think. I rather have a gay son. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, without a doubt in my mind, because you know, if you're gay, you can't really have kids unless you adopt. You know what I mean? Two guys can't have kids. Word. Right. Word. Unless you get like a surrogate to impregnate yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah word word so it's like i don't want to be taking care of my thought daughter's like 15 kids you know what i mean i think i'd have a gay son just on the fact of not having kids for me i That's just don't want to think of the thought process of my daughter getting ran in a train true i just don't want that to happen. would you rather have your son get ran in a train i mean to be honest <laughs> these are both bad answers but um i think i could at least avoid it if with it your was son? My son, yeah. How so? Like, shit, how often you talk? I mean, you have a different relationship with your dad than I do. Yeah. <clears throat> we never talk about sex in my house. Really? My dad is older, so like stuff to stuff like that to him, it's not like taboo or weird. It's just something you don't talk about. Yeah. I it's just that. something you just do and that's just it's your personal business, right? Yeah. So to me, right. I wish my dad was like that. <laughs> Fuck, dude. God damn. <laughs> um, to me, it's like, well, if it's my son, I don't have much to worry about because, like you said, he can't get someone pregnant. Yeah, yeah. So to me, it's like I don't have to worry about that, which means I don't have to worry about anything else because that's like the biggest thing to worry about. Yeah, that's true. You know, so that's I think that's why I would pick that. Okay. You know, so I could just avoid it. Be like, hey, son, how you doing today? He's like, good. I'm going to my friend's house. That's enough. That's all I need to know. Yeah, great, man. Have fun. Have a good day. You have a good day. Um, I'll pack a lunch for you. All right, just do you, uh, do you need money? Like, yeah. do you need gas? Car- do you need gas money or something? Yeah, do you need me to pick you up? All right, don't you know? You just know when I mean? you get in the car, don't tell me your ass hurts when you sit down. Yeah, that's all I ask. Please. I'll bring a pillow. Yeah, you know, I got you. Fucking- I got an ass pillow, a little baby seat for you, a little booster. Yeah, I got seat. a donut. Yeah, I got <laughs> <laughs> those airplane fucking neck pillows. <laughs> <laughs> a little airplane yeah. pillow for your ass. I got a donut for you, man. Don't worry about it. Just don't hey. talk to me about it. What about you, though? Like a would you rather question. 
I feel like I kind of put you on the spot. So if you can't think yeah. of one, we can come back. I to can't it. think of one. You can't. No. Okay. Um, we can go to. Uh, you know what, bro? You know what, bro? Mm. Would you rather have feet for hands or hands for feet? Uh, hands for feet. Hands for feet. Without a doubt in my mind. Right? Yeah. Because think of all the shit you do with your hands. Plus, you can wear, like, gloves for for shoes and shit. So wouldn't it be cool if I had, like, fingerless gloves on my hands and fingerless gloves on my feet? <laughs> wouldn't that be sick as fuck? You can't tell me that wouldn't be dope. That would be the most terrifying thing I think I ever saw in my life. You're just walking down the street on them fofos. You know what I mean? Do what? <laughs> on them. On them fofos. Shut up, you know what I mean? bitch. You know what I mean? that'd be cool? Shut up. Nah, fucking. <laughs> I have hands for feet because I could just, like... You can, f- bro, think of the shit you could do with hands for feet. You know what I mean? Like, oh. like eat a banana like a fucking monkey? No, I was thinking of like, Jerk someone off of my feet. Exactly. Jerk myself off you know? of my exactly, own feet. Exactly, bro. Just bend that shit up. I could already do that. I don't even need hands for feet. I could already do that. Hello? Hello? <laughs> hello? I'm sorry, hello? Hello? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> fucking... Um, <laughs> fucking that's fucking awful I would hate that oh my god you ever got a foot job no would you want to get one yes really yes why I don't know I just bro you, they walk on their feet everyone walks on their feet bro. yeah but I mean why wouldn't they clean it do you clean your feet in the shower yeah you, you don't no, the most I do is like a pass, saying, right? Well, I, yeah, that's what I do. I'm not saying okay, I so like not go into your, detail. With that's my not foot. cleaning your feet. I'm not bringing out like a fucking engine revved fucking scrubber on my foot <laughs> the or something. Fucking sander, yeah. just <laughs> no. I like just lift my foot up like I am right now. Just one wipe, two wipe, and then wash it with water. So that's not cleaning your feet. That's washing your feet. There's a difference. Uh, cleaning your feet is like, bro, you like scrub that shit off, right? Uh-huh. So that's what I'm saying. Okay, right? well I. I still would accept it if someone was like, hey, I'm going to give you a foot job. I'd be like, all right, but. Fuck. Um, let's see here. Do you want to do. Why is my phone being not smart in the head? Um, let's talk about cars, dude. Let's just do that. Let's have a discussion about cars that we'd, we would want in the future. 1972 C10. You're gay. Um, I'd want a Prius in the future. Just kidding. I already have one. So, yeah, I already got my you dream do, car. Man. Yeah. Already got it. That's your dream car? No. A Prius is your dream car. I think a Tesla would have to be mine. Dream car. I don't know if I would want a Tesla. Just for the fact that it's completely electric. Like, I don't even think, like, I wouldn't even care if it wasn't Tesla. I would just want something that's completely electric. Self driving cars scare me. Why? Because I just, man, you know, what if it's just like, you know what? I'm going to fuck this dude's day. I'm crashing to a median. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess, yeah. You don't think that'd be free- funny, though? I don't. <laughs> I my insurance they just wouldn't pull think up it's and funny. your Tesla's like laughing at you. <laughs> Dude, that thing with the doors where it opens up and closes to the beat of whatever Christmas song. It's like ha 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 ha. <laughs> just fucking asshole, fucking car, bro. <laughs> fuck that, Elon man. Musk just sends you an email. Fuck you, dog. Yeah, fuck you, bro. <laughs> fuck your car. Nah, self-driving cars freak me out, man. Shit scares the shit out of me. I think I'd be cool with it. I just love the way Tesla's look. I don't want a car to drive for me. I want to drive the car. That's true, yeah. I really had a lot of love for my truck when I had it because it was like driving a manual for the first time in my life, like getting used to it. I it was a lot of time. I haven't dr- driven a stick shift in years. I haven't either. It's been a while. The last time I drove a stick shift was in Montana, and I almost like destroyed that fucking transmission. Yeah, the clutch and <laughs> transmission. <laughs> I almost blew that shit I up. I used to give people... I used to like let people drive my truck to uh, teach them stick, and there's this one kid. I won't name him. Was it a, a? It was a um, column. It wasn't a column. It was a normal shift, yeah, like yeah. a gear. It was a normal shift. Yeah. So um, I was taught on that. It took me six months to get like completely really good at it. Yeah, really good at it. And there, actually, before I tell the blowing out my clutch story, um, there's this hill over by my house, the one that goes over the railroad. And I used to be scared shitless of it, so I'd go around the other way, and, and it'd take like an extra 30 minutes to get to work. And uh, one day I went on it, I was like, okay, I can do it. I just have to feather the gas and feather the clutch at the same time, and then let off the clutch and press the gas to go up. So I start doing that, truck just kills. Yeah, just kills. Like nothing, just kills. And I start rolling back, dude. And in my head, I was like, what's going on? And the car behind me is like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> just honking all out. So I hit the brakes all hard. And I was like, oh, fuck. Put the clutch down, started up again, put that bitch in first. 
And then I did the thing where I just slammed the gas and let go of the clutch and it went <laughs> and then took off and I jumped the fucking little railroad. So yeah, that was that was a pretty cool time. But I used to practice over by if you know where Sally's Sally's tomatoes are. They have a really big parking lot over there. I don't think it's happening anymore. I'm doing construction or some shit over there. And uh, there's this kid I let practice in my truck. He used to work at uh, Home Depot with me. I worked at Home Depot and Lowe's, just putting that out there. Both horrible jobs. N- n- there's none that are better than each other. Both horrible. And uh, he's, actually, I can name him. His name's Austin. I don't think he'll ever watch this, so I think it should be fine. Do you remember Austin from Lowe's? We had an Austin at Lowe's? Yeah, he had a kid. He had, like, dyed blue hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed that guy. He what happened to him? He just left. Uh, I, t- I took a week off from Lowe's or something like that, and mm-hmm. I came back, and he was just gone. He didn't get fired. He I quit. forgot about that kid. And um, super nice guy. Should have got his phone number. I would have liked to hang out with I him. I liked him. He was just, it was weird because remember when I first started working at Lowe's and I had the, the blonde hair? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he was in the orientation with me and oh. he was wearing a hat so you couldn't see his blue hair. And he asked a question because I wasn't wearing a hat or anything. I just had my hair out. He was like, oh, are there like discrimination against people with dyed hair? And I was like. That's kind of weird that you'd ask that. Like, thanks for outing me, dog. And Jen, the girl that was the manager there, was like, uh, no, no, like, we're fine with anything. He's like, all right, because this dude next to me has dyed hair. So it kind of like, just wanted to ask for his sake. And I was like, what the fuck kind of, what the fuck are you doing, dude? I knew that job was going to be. And then next be... day I came back and this yeah, motherfucker yeah. had the blue hair. And I was like, dude, why did you out me like that? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I knew that job was going to be bullshit because the only two questions I asked me for the interview was, <clears throat> have you went to jail? And I was like, yeah. yeah. And then they were like, okay, when can you start? <laughs> that was the only questions they asked. Really? And I was like, fuck, this job's going to suck. Uh, <laughs> fucking, I already hate this shit. This job's going to blow, bro. That's the only question they asked. They didn't ask anything else. That just That was it. I wasn't even in the state at the time. Mm-hmm. I was in Arizona when they interviewed me. They were uh, like, when the can you start? Shit, right? yeah. yeah. They were like, when can you start? I was like, probably the beginning of October. And they were like, okay. Cool. We'll see you then. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. I was like, fuck, man. This job is down bad. This job hella down bad. That shit was funny, though. Um, 1972 C10, man. Chevy C10. No, honestly, for a dream car, I'd probably do something like a moderate. Nah. Are we talking like realistic dream cars or are we talking just anything? I'm talking realistic dream cars. Like, that's a realistic dream car. Uh, 2019 fifth gen Toyota 4Runner with a, like a four point something liter in it. I think one of those would be super nice. The car is way less cool than the one I said. I thought you were going to say a little more like. No, no. I love the new gen Toyotas. Toyota runs in the family, so. Or like, a, or like a really I clean fucking, Lexus would be dope, too. I fucking hate my truck. I hate it, but it's a part of me at this point. My window's broken. My AC's broken. I have nothing going for me. That truck is basically telling me, bro, stop driving me, bro. Just leave me in a fucking car lot somewhere. Yeah, stop. please give up on me. <laughs> I ain't giving up till that transmission's out. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that truck won't live until it's 38, bro. 38. That truck is uh, 2007, which means we got it in 2006. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it's been a while. So yeah, that it was brand new for six months, and then just fucking. And then start taking a shit on it. Fuck. Yeah. Fucking. That truck's funny though. Ear, ear, ear. That's the sound his window makes when he tries to roll it up. Ear, 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 ear. Cop pulls me over, man. Fucking sorry, sorry, sorry window, officer. Bro. <laughs> Please, officer, I'm trying, bro. Stop resisting arrest. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. That <laughs> way, okay? Fucking <laughs> fuck, man. No, uh, Edgar got another speeding ticket. Who? Edgar. Did he really? Yeah, he's like three now. Fuck. It's because that fucking little Beamer he has is a little race car, dude. Or Kids just stop fucking... driving it so fast. It's That's pretty fun. simple. Yeah. I just tell I tell him that every time, and then now it's like I've only ever gotten one just, speeding ticket. I haven't gotten any tickets. It's like every six months, dude. He'll send me a picture of a ticket. I'm like, dude, why though? He's like, well, I like driving fast. I'm like, yeah, do it at like the trackway or some shit where you could legally do it. I yeah, <laughs> bro, don't do it in a 25, man. All right, <laughs> stop driving 85 in a 25, man. Sure, right? mm-hmm. you'll be fine. You could just do that too. <laughs> No, fucking no. There was a story that I didn't want to tell Miguel until we until we got onto the podcast. But this story happened to me at my at my college campus, and Ooh. I have a lot. Is this first for me? Yeah, you've never Ooh. heard the story. I'm gonna mute my mic just to make it better. This is the Bernie Sanders story. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'll keep it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, 
So this was like 2019, right? This is before COVID and all that stuff. So fuck, classes fuck were Fuck Bovid. Like, fuck Bovid. All, all my homies hate Bovid. Yeah, all my homies hate Bovid. I hate Bovid. Bovid. That shit sucked. <laughs> Bovid could suck my balls. Um... I was walking to class, and there was this guy campaigning for Bernie Sanders on campus. This is before the 2020 election. Yeah. So, the funny thing, right, is he looked exactly like Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. So, in my mind, I was like, wow, this guy looks like Bernie Sanders. I hate politics. I hate anything political. So, I was just going to walk by and pretend that I didn't see it. But he looked so much like him, I had to say something. Like, I had to. So I walked up to him, right, behind his fucking 2020 We Can Change bullshit. And, um... <laughs> Why can you say bullshit? 2020 We Can Change I'll bullshit. say that. Everyone says that shit. They're all liars. Um, you don't think we could change? I don't know how much we want to change, bro. I want to change you. Your sexuality. <laughs> Get me away from this motherfucker. Sorry, Please. bro. I, I didn't mean it. My um, and uh, I walked up to him, right? And I was like, hey, man, I just want to let you know it's kind of funny and ironic that you're campaigning for Bernie Sanders and you look exactly like him. And he goes, I'm not Bernie Sanders. And I was like, yeah, I knew that. I'm just saying you look like him. And he was like, but I'm not him. He couldn't fathom that he looked like Bernie Sanders. He thought it was just like <laughs> a crazy, like he didn't even understand that I was saying he looked like. It was like he thought I was saying he was him. And I was like, no, yeah, I know you're not him. I'm just saying you look like him. And it's kind of funny. And he was like, I'm not Bernie Sanders. And I was like, yeah, I know that. I'm yeah. just saying. You know what it's like? You know what it's like? I told him. I was like, you know what it's like? It's like a, the, the Star Wars chick. It's like um, Natalie Portman. And then the chick who's in the Pirates Natalie of the Portman's Caribbean. So hot. so hot. And then oh, the Amber chick Heard? who's in the, in the... No, no, no. Um, her name is Kira Knightley. Oh. But at the time, I had forgotten her name. So I was like, you know, Padme and then the bitch from Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Mm-hmm, and this dude's mm-hmm. looking at me. He was like, you've never seen Pirates of the Caribbean in your fucking life. Really? Actually, she, the other chick was also in Star Wars, too. She played her double in the shit. And he was like, I'm not Bernie Sanders. I was like, man, we're not even talking about that anymore, man. We're talking about fucking Natalie Portman and the other bitch that looks exactly like her. And he was like, yeah, but I'm not Bernie Sanders. I was like... He's like, bro, if you don't shut the fuck up. I'm on my way to class, right? And I stopped to do this. So I'm now I'm late for class. So now that I'm late for class, I was like, no, I'm going to stay here until he gets the fact being that I'm not saying he's Bernie Sanders, right? So I was like, the bitch from Pirates of the Caribbean. That yeah. motherfucker. The pretty ass chick from Pirates. The only chick in like the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And he was like, I've never seen it. And I was like... How have you never seen Pirates of the Caribbean, man? Stop with all this com- campaigning shit. You need to fucking go over there and watch that movie, <laughs> go, man. Fuck, go man. Go watch that movie. And man. this is before like Disney Plus, right? So you could you find it pretty easily. And I was like, bro, just go fucking watch that. And then you'll get what I'm saying. And then he was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. And I was like, first of all, you're too old to be arguing with me about this. I'm too old to be arguing with you about this. I'm just saying you look like him. And I was like, and then he goes, yeah, but I'm not him. And then some random ass bitch comes out of nowhere. And she was like, are you hassling this old man? And I was like, hassling. Yes. You're like, yes. I was like, hassling. I'm just talking to him. And she was like, okay, you're being very aggressive right now. And I was like, I'm just talking. I'm not even moving. I'm not even using my hands to talk. Fuck off. And then the dude was like, yeah, you think I'm Bernie Sanders? I was like, that's not what I said. (laughs) I was like, that's not what's happening. I'm saying you look like him. And then she was like. He does kind of look like him. You you realize that Bernie Sanders is like a senator in like New Hampshire, right? Why would he be in California? And I was like, you can't be fucking serious. You're 20. How are you not getting this? I get him. He's like a thousand fucking years old. He doesn't understand normal English because he talks like, oh, yay, oh, yay. But oh, fucking, yay, oh, yay. You are 20. You should understand what I'm saying. And then I was like, you know what? Oh, yay, I've oh, I've had yay. enough. And then I start walking away. It was like, wait, do you want to sign this petition for Bernie Sanders to come to California? No. And I was like, bro, he's already here. I'm looking at him. And then I fucking walk away. How'd that make you feel inside? I was pissed. I can imagine. I was pissed. I went to class mad, threw my shit on the ground. I was like, fucking bullshit having ass college, man. Why am I even here? Fucking bullshit. Uh, date is the fifth, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Why? I'm looking at my, uh, my pay stub. Your pay stub? Yeah. Yeah, why don't you send half that check over? There's the some weird shit going on. 
which I'm not very happy about. Word. Um, yeah. yeah and I, that it fucked up my was, shit. That shit was crazy. That college campus is so awesome. Instead of 50 hours, I have 48.16, um, which is but, fantastic. The people on that campus are weird. They'd always come up to me and ask me questions and shit like that, which yeah. I don't like talking to people if I have my AirPods in. That's like the universal don't fucking talk to me. I'll murder a <laughs> fucking school if you do. Like You can't I be saying like that shit, dude. <laughs> but I feel like that's pretty like oh yeah, without a universal doubt. if someone yeah, has yeah, AirPods yeah. in. Someone would come up to me and start talking to me, like face-to-face like this, and I'll just see. And I'm like, What? Yeah, can you and leave I'll, me alone, please? I'll take my AirPods out. I'm like, what? And then they're like, hey, man, did anyone ever tell you you have really good lips? And I'm like, why are you coming up to me <laughs> and saying that? You, you have fucking... very cute lips. And fucking You do, creeps. man. You have good lips. And then this chick Pussy that lips. said that to me yeah. proceeded to take her disgusting 1850 coal miner hands and touch my fucking lips like I wasn't real. Like I was a fucking NPC, mannequin. Dude, like a little yeah. NPC. Yeah, I was that like. That school is just filled with Skyrim NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> they just come up to you and have a quest out of just that. Just sim characters <laughs> everywhere, bro. Just come up to you. I have and, a quest. And I was like, what the fuck? I was so shocked I didn't even move. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah. Where yeah. some bullshit is happening and you're just like, bro, I don't even know what that to do That one right bitch, now. dude, that fucking, uh, at my job that grabbed my ass, dude, <laughs> I just like froze and I was like, what the fuck just yeah. happened, bro? And I turned around and I was like, don't do that shit again, bro. Yeah, she's like 220, 230. Mm-hmm. I don't date bitches over 50 pounds of me. Good thing I'm 350. Yeah, good thing I'm fucking 500 pounds. Good thing I'm 350. Um, Yeah, and she touched my fucking face. And she was like, oh, touched yeah, you have really good skin. She's like fucking grooming me for a goddamn... Was she cute? No. Oh, I mean, God. she's a height, but... Not enough to where it's like, hey, don't touch my fucking face. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, what the fuck? Hey, yo, take me out to dinner. I've had people do that with my eyelashes, with my lips. And not touch my eyelashes, but like come up to me and be like, you have really good eyelashes. I was like, you're a fucking freak for noticing <laughs> someone's eyelashes. The you're last a fucking thing, freak. The last thing I notice when I'm looking at someone, right, is their fucking eyelashes. I feel like whenever I look at you, the first thing I notice is your eyebrows. You know, you don't have any. Because they're thin. Yeah. They're really thin. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna what, about, get, what about me? I'm going to get... Uh, I'm fucking... <laughs> my fucking nose. My fat <laughs> fucking nose. First thing I noticed is your big ass forehead. But um, I wear hats all the time. No, so you can't I'm really kidding. see it. No, when we first met, you didn't wear too many hats. Yeah, because I was letting my shit grow out like naturally. Um, No, I don't know. The first thing I noticed on you... Probably, I guess your glasses, maybe. So then your eyes, I guess. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Damn, you look at my eyes? That's crazy. Why are you looking at my eyes like that? All right, bro. All right, bro. Let's go on the next topic. Let's go uh, Let's go animals, bro. Like, so give an example of what animal you'd want. Like, and, like if, if California didn't have any restrictions on animals, right? I already have the animals I want. I know, I know, I know. But I mean, like, animals you want and then animals that, like, freak you the fuck out. Like, there has to be something that just, like, if it came close to you, would freak you the fuck out. You know what I mean? I don't like things that move fast. I don't like, like what? That move for anything. Pick one, anything. My lizard? If it fu- yes. <laughs> uh, yes, actually. I don't like that. Why not? Because don't I feel like it's going to crawl don't on my face. Looks, don't you think that looks cute, though? I setup? wish I could cook it up and eat it, it to be honest tiny. with you. You wouldn't even get anything out of it. I'd eat the whole thing in one bite. True. You, you could without cooking it. Uh, uh, just yeah. fucking uh, throat that shit. But, um, yeah, I think for me it'd be like, if California didn't have any restrictions, I'd probably want a hedgehog. Hedgehogs are super cute. I know you can have them like Arizona and shit, or like Oregon, Colorado. Yeah, but it's very dangerous. Well, no, that that one's fine. Chinchillas are very dangerous to have in hot states because they don't sweat. Yeah. So like they could just explode. Chinchillas are legal here, so that'd be cool. Yeah, but fucking. I, I think for me it'd be like, like big cats. You know, like lions, lions, leopards, panthers, cougars, shit like that. I get like, would freak fucking, me the fuck out. I get violently angry when a cat is near. <laughs> Not like I don't like hate it or nothing Jesus. like that, but it freaked a fucking. I hate how disrespectful cats are. Yeah, they don't give a shit. And I just want to like murder it. Well, they can give less than a fuck. You know what I mean? You're the only thing that you're doing for the cat is feeding it. That's literally it. Yeah, so I saw this thing the other day, and it was really true. When you when you have a dog, right, the motherfucker's like, oh, my God, you give me food, you give me water, you must be God. Yeah, but yeah. then when you do that to a cat, it's like, oh, my God, you give me food, you give me water, I must be God. I'm yeah. like, I hate cats. Yeah. So no, that's true. Brutal. That's really for surely them. true. I hate cats. I'm also really allergic to them, so uh, that's another reason why I hate them. Well, once my dog goes, I'm getting a cat, so. 
I hope your dog lives for another. We'll just years. get our another. We'll just get a studio for us for our podcast. Me and you. Yeah, we'll get a studio. <laughs> you don't think so? Come live with me next year. No. In fu- in a. Nope. I'll be nope. in a fucking. No way. Why not? Never gonna happen. Why? There's no way. Why? Nope. For, give me a reason. No. Do you want a reason? Yeah. I'll tell you a reason. You ready for this? Yeah. Fuck no, baby. <laughs> come on, come get a place no. to go in the summer, man. No. Why not? Where are you going to go in the summer? Uh, Fucking not here anymore if you don't get a place with me. I know, but like, what are you thinking about here-wise? Like Runner Park? Yeah, it's going to be like 1200 a month. Not if we fucking split it. That's like $600 each a month. Yeah, are you that's have called. A job? It's called. Are you have yes, a job? bum ass. Yes. Why don't we tell him about how fucking much of a bum you are? <laughs> <laughs> I go to school. This kid full, is a fucking bum, I dog. I go to school full time, right? And <laughs> my I my ass. Job. What do you mean your ass? My ass. I'm dude. taking 17 units. Uh, you wouldn't know because you're a fucking dropout and a moron. Yeah, so but you I make don't money. Get it. I make money. So I'm balling. How, how, how do you think year. they set up got here? How do you think they set up? I got worked here? all last year hey, 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 through school, hey, 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 which he couldn't hey, do, hey, so he dropped hey, hey, out hey, hey, because he's hey. worthless. How, how do you think this setup and got here? How do you think this setup got here? I don't care. Be, on, <laughs> be honest with me. How do you think this got here? You pay for it, man. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Hey, hey, big no. I'm, so, the, I'm right. the fucking host, dog. He couldn't. He couldn't <laughs> stack up to working and going to school, so he had to drop out. I just didn't want to. Right, because he's a pussy. And like then school. I worked and went through school at the same time, right? And then the moment I stopped going to work and I just want to focus on school because I only have one more year left, they bum. go, hey, he's a bum, bro. Bum. You fucking bum. I'm like, bum. bro, I will make more money than you in like five years. Yeah, probably. Exactly. But I don't sell drugs. I'm not good. I don't sell drugs. I don't smuggle guns into the country. I don't smuggle I guns. I don't evade my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to pay taxes. I don't have an income. That's what I'm saying. The fuck? Yeah. Whatever, Bob. Oh, man. No, fucking, yeah, so. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> all, they're all just jealous. They're all just jealous. Jealous, jealous that you don't have to do anything with your Honestly, life? I'm jealous. I wish I didn't have to go to school. Honestly, I'm pretty I'm pretty cool with not going to school right now, honestly. Yeah, I think cool. I have a good job. And in another 10 years, when you're making the same amount, you're going to be like, fuck, this really sucks. Well, I think for my job right now, I'm making adequate pay. But yeah, definitely in the next the point, like right now. No, that's what I'm saying. In the next like five years, I definitely have to go to EMT school. I like have to get up more. I'm in the medical industry, but I don't actually do medical stuff. So word. Yeah. Fucking it's nice though. Old ladies touch my ass and shit, so it's funny. I wouldn't call that nice. <laughs> but whatever uh, you say, bro. <laughs> what else is there? We got um. We can talk about guests that we want to bring on. Why? Let's just keep it a surprise. Oh, yeah, true. Um, fuck you guys. <laughs> fuck the fans. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Hoes, yeah, fuck the fans. Oh, my God, bro. Talk about celebrity crushes, dude. Oh, my God. Salma Hayek. Johnny Depp. Hot as fuck. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Hot as fuck. Tom Holland. <laughs> Ugly as shit. What the fuck is it? Yeah, call me. I'm 5'10, what bro. What the fuck is it? I'm not 5'6 like it, bro. Please. No, I think genuinely. Ah, fuck. I don't even know. Salma Hayek, Halle yeah. Berry, Zendaya. Halle Berry have to. Halle Berry. Salma Hayek, Halle Berry. That's in Zendaya. That's all I care about. Have you seen about. that movie when Halle Berry had her tits out? I by saw the, the, By the poolside? I saw the movie where Salma Hayek had her tits out in the was Zorro it? movie. Zorro? Mm-hmm. She had her tits out in Zorro? Yeah, she went... Is that on Netflix by chance? Because no. I might watch it tonight. Antonio it Banderas was Zorro in it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and fuck. Good, good choice of movie. You know what? Fuck it. Z- Z- Salma Hayek, call my ass, man. <laughs> call my <laughs> Honestly, ass, fuck I don't give a fuck man. if you have a husband and kids. I don't care if you're like 45. I don't give a shit, I don't give bro. a fuck if that pussy looks like a beef sandwich, bro. No, Still I don't gonna care, take that bro. Shit. Just so bad. Just please, <laughs> Just take bro. me, bro. Please. please, bro. Be my sugar mama, please. Um, yeah, probably Salma Hayek. Or um, Sal from Impractical Jokers. <laughs> Love him. Bad as hell. Did you hear about Joe leaving Impractical Jokers? That was crazy. Sure about Betty White dying? <coughs> uh, rest in peace, Betty White. For, but rest for when she Betty die. Because I know she ain't dead, but that's coming up. You ever heard that song by Zach Fox? No. Bitch, you better praise God. I'm a shooting that's on God. I ain't playing about my Lord and Savior. I'm on my job. If you ain't a Christian, I'm going to stab you in the face. If it ain't about Jesus, I'm going to hit you with this K. 
It's pretty aggressive to non-Christians. Yeah. <clears throat> Jesus is the one. Which I don't have to worry about because I'm Catholic. Praise Jesus Christ, motherfucker. Free Palestine, free KK. It's free the Palestine? Yeah. A Christian said free Palestine? Yeah. That doesn't even make sense. It's the trap game. Abraham Lincoln four score and 16 bars ago. R.I.P. Betty White, but for when she died, because she ain't dead yet. <clears throat> little bitch. Anyways. I ain't not going to fuck. <laughs> um, fucking. Yeah, man, fuck. Yeah, dude. Um, COVID beat the shit out of me, man. That sucked ass. Yeah, I can imagine. Zero out of ten recommend for that shit, bro. What are we um, at? I don't know. Recording What's wise. Time? What's the time? The red dot, bottom right. 40 minutes. Damn, you already hit 40? Fuck. Yeah. Um, watch a Beatles documentary. How is it? Fucking stupid. Yeah. I hate the Beatles. I, I hate like the them. Beatles. I think they're funny. Um, I think their music is annoying. Fuck John Lennon, though. Why? I don't know. <laughs> He's dead. I know. Fuck him. My um, favorite Beatle died. George yeah. Harrison, man. I love George Harrison. He passed away. George. George D's nuts. George D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about movies and anime. We could definitely get that for the next 20 minutes. There's an anime coming up that I really can't wait to see it's called chainsaw man chainsaw man and it looks hard as hell like it a looks dick? bad at hmm? Hmm? not like your penis hmm? there's this huh? there's these tiktoks <laughs> where this dude will make like school shooter jokes and um he'll do this thing right where like he'll be sitting there and, and one of them one of his famous ones was like oh man class pick partners for this project then yeah kevin people... sadiq is that his name yeah hold up I got you. Oh my god, wait, yeah. Yeah. That's him. I fo- I've been following him on TikTok since, and he'll go, hmm? since I got TikTok. Yeah, I'll show you. Kevin Sadiq. I have his... Uh... Kevin, if you ever watch this, dude, you're a bitch. I want you to know that. Your videos are funny, but you're a fucking little bitch. You're what a do little do? bitch boy. So he made a Discord server, right? It's called Kev Army. Oh. And that shit was popping for a while. And then he said he didn't like using Discord anymore because there were a bunch of fat nerds on it. <laughs> <laughs> so he dis he stopped using it and his <laughs> Discord server died within like two days. But this motherfucker right here. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, Kevin Sadiq. He's got a very unique face. There's this video where it's um very unique. He's very funny. Yeah, this is a hit. Yeah. And he goes, hmm. Yeah, hmm. He starts doing that shit. Sorry, I'm I'm showing him memes now. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson had a Dwayne Johnson comes out. I like the pudding. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm feeling better. It's about drive. I think it's I about sh- power. <laughs> we stay hungry. We devour. Put in the work. Put in the hours. And take what's ours. Black and Simone in my veins. The only weird thing he does though that I don't really fuck with is shit like this. He's he's just very feminine. He's very expressive of his. Feminine side. Hell, man. Who am I to judge? I have my hair in a ponytail right now. It's not even a ponytail. It's a bun. Take it out, dude. You look like a fucking... I look great, No, man. you don't. I look good as hell, man. I'll be that pretty motherfucker. Okay, ASAP. ASAP? Yeah, white boy ASAP. <laughs> okay. I don't even I don't even listen to his music. White, I don't know white who that is. Okay, white sap. What was the other one? Travis Scott? He's the one that got all those people killed. Yeah. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> people just dying at the concert. What it's lit. Yeah. Pop, pop. That motherfucker's yeah. voice is probably the funniest shit I've yeah. ever heard in my yeah. life. Where he? Yeah, where's he from? Atlanta? All the motherfuckers in Baltimore talk crazy, bro. You ever seen that video? Earn, 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 earn. Earn, earn, and I earn. <laughs> How do they say? Aaron earned and iron earned. They were like, earn, earn, If you're and from I Baltimore, earn. if you're from Baltimore, read this out loud. And then it goes, earn, earn has a earn, earn. Wait, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> earn, earn has an earn, earn. And then the dude is like. That's how we talk. <laughs> he's like, no, it's earn, earn has an earn, earn. And the dude's like, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron earned an iron earn. earn. That's how we talk? <laughs> and then he's like, wait, is that how we talk? God damn. Earn, earn, and earn, earn. A fucking, um. Yeah. Chainsaw Man. Uh, also, Attack on Titans last season comes out in like five days. What do you think they're going to do after that? Nothing, it's over. Well, I know, but I mean, like, the creators of it. I think they're just going to fall out? Yeah. Right. It's over. I know, but... I mean, they could probably make another one, I guess. Like, another show. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I doubt, like, they want to start up another show right after this one. You know, I've been ta- you know, I've watching recently is uh, Tokyo Avengers. Yeah, I saw the whole first season of it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's annoying to me. Yeah, it is. It's really annoying. But it's, I think it's super good. It is. 
I'm tired of them. We go back in time to fix shit in the present. Erased is so good, though. Erased was really good. I actually just watched that recently. Um, there was this other show called Orange that has the same premise. Orange. <laughs> Orange. Yeah, Orange. <laughs> and uh, basically, it's like these Orange. these group of friends go back in time to save their friend from killing himself. And uh, wow. it was really good. I think out of the three animes that I've seen with that premise of going back in time, that's probably the, the my favorite one. Because it's just it's much like deeper of a concept than Spirit like, Away is too good. Spirit Away. I like Howl's Moving Dude, Castle. Dude, you know what I watched recently is um, fuck, what was it called? Graveyard of Fireflies. It's by Studio Ghibli. Same people that made Spirited Away and shit. That shit's like fucked up, but it's really fucking good. It's about this kid and uh, his little sister going through hard times during the uh, Nagasaki and Hiroshima shit. I saw it. Yeah, Graveyard of Fireflies. I saw it. She loses her arm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. It's on Netflix. That was really, really good. fucking good. Yeah, I, the yeah. whole time I was just thinking about, yep, it's just, yep. That's how it is, man. Have, we did that shit. Have, yep. Shouldn't have fucked with Hawaii, man. I don't know, bro. <laughs> shouldn't have fucked with us, dog. You caught your ass lacking. Y'all probably would have yeah. won that fucking war if you didn't come over here and drop it them was sad, fucking man. bombs. That shit was sad. As I fuck. guess. No, I mean it, the anime was sad. Not yeah, the, not the actual. I mean it's a, them. it's a. <laughs> yeah, look what they did, bro. They gave us fucking manga and anime over here now, bro. Fuck. Yeah. Hentai? Are you kidding me? Oh God! Please don't. <laughs> you ever seen that fucking that interview where they're asking Samuel L. Jackson? Hentai two. Yeah. <laughs> the Samuel L. Jackson watch anime? Yes, I do. I, yes, I do. Hentai, hentai two. two. <laughs> and then and everyone just laughing. starts laughing. Yeah. And I'm just like, this, this motherfucker's is... speaking facts. <laughs> motherfucker's spitting <laughs> out here. Spitting out here, bro. Him. That's called motherfucking bars. You don't know nothing about that. <laughs> fuck you know about that. To this day. To this day. To this day. <laughs> He's like staring into his soul. I like soul. how our whole podcast is going to be memes on memes. To this day. That's all it ever is. Okay. The me. lights is off. <laughs> Can't say the, the last part. <laughs> what the dog do? Fucking don't up. say it. Don't think it. Don't say oh, it. Oh, great heavens. Oh, no great heavens. That's my fun. That's my favorite oh, fucking dear. meme. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> that favorite. fucking dog just. Oh dear. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My favorite memes, man. Oh, I got a call from my friend the other day. I have a friend from college, and he, uh, he's British, and he will. He's in the UK right now. He's back home, and he'll call me to ask me to pronounce shit for his family. I wonder if they could pick that up on the thing. Should I try it again while you're talking? Yeah, go ahead. I'll do it again. Um, he'll call me. While uh, he's at home, and he'll be like, "Hey man, can you talk about some like shit that you know? Say say some shit, and he'll at request me to say words and stuff on fucking um on the phone, and he'll put it on speakerphone for yep, his yep. family to hear. And I'll be like, "Okay, what's the word?" And he'll be like, "Say watermelon," and I'm like, oh. <laughs> "Watermelon, <laughs> watermelon." How and does he like, say it? Watermelon. 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 I don't know. I hey, think watch from, your melon. I think he's from Birmingham. Oh, he wanted me to say London. And I was London. like, London. And he was like, it's London <laughs> with an eye. And I'm like, okay, London. <laughs> London. It's um, London. And um, all my homies hate British people. Fuck British people. Bro. All my homies hate British people. Yeah, honestly, fuck New Zealand's too, bro. Why? I don't know. Just fuck New Zealand, man. Yeah, all my Australian friends hate New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, if we had any. Um... But yeah, he'll do that, and then his family will like roast me for how I pronounce shit, and then I'll be like, "Yeah, it's Linden." And oh, one of the things is like the food. He's like, "I really miss the food when I'm here, though." And I was like, "Well, yeah, that's because we eat like we're in t- the 21st century." Yeah, we don't, we don't eat tea and biscuits every day. Yeah, we don't eat like boiled lamb stomach with no flavor to it. We actually have food that tastes like something. Yeah, and then the family will be like, "Oi." How do you fucking say this, mate? But at least we have free health coverage. Yeah, but we have yeah, good food. Yeah, but at you, least right? our quality of life is better. <laughs> at least we get the sun, Paying bro. for Medicare is actually easier than <laughs> having to wait in like a seven-hour line at least because the, of free Medicare. At least, you know, we get Hey, well, honestly, fuck shit. Canada too, bro. <laughs> it's just everywhere I, I except for a, America. I almost, got arrested. I almost got arrested in Canada once. Yeah, you seem like the type. I no shut up. <laughs> I was hunting in Stealing Montana fish from Canada, and oh, uh, we got we passed the border to Canada, and then these mounties, Canada. these mounties on came horses? up to us on horses. No way on horses. That's actually hell. Was which it, is crazy because we were literally no. It was weird because wow. we were in the middle of nowhere. 
And they just knew, huh? And they just knew where we were. And they uh, came up to us and they were like, Oi, you can't <laughs> fucking do this. I don't know why I went like Swedish. I don't know why I went Swedish <laughs> with that fucking <laughs> You can't fucking like, do this. In there, you can't do this, eh? <laughs> and I'm just like, who? How the fuck? Where did you guys come from? Did you find us, right? And they were like decked out with like guns and shit, right? So we were, were cool just they like, just drew, bro. <laughs> hey, you can't fucking be here. <laughs> get and, your shit in Maple Syrup. And get the fuck like, out of our country, eh? They were like, hey, there, you have to go back another five miles, eh? And I was like, do they really say a that much? No. Oh. They said A like twice Damn when we were dude. talking That'd to be them. fucking crazy. They were super I'd, nice. I would have started capping on them, bro. I would have started They're like a them fake kind of nice, man. They're like a fake kind of oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, you, you could probably tell. Um, Where they're like... I would start roasting the shit out of them. They were like, hey, buddy. What's the maple syrup, eh? Yeah. Some fucking water. It was really weird. Like, it was like one of those like high school fake nice people. Oh, like all the pretty girls in high school? Yeah. You just tell fake me, as like, hell. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Don't and talk um, to ass. They were talking to us, and we were just like, this is such an odd experience because we know that we're going to get like arrested, but they're trying to make it sound like we're not going to get arrested if we don't leave. So they wanted you to walk back five miles. Yeah. Okay. So did you guys like trek in there by accident? Yeah. Oh, like we had no idea where we were <laughs> in Montana. It's crazy. There's no like signs or anything like that. It's just like, there's just land. Yeah, the only place that really like has signage for that shit is right above us, which is what? Washington. Oregon, Washington. Yeah. Yeah. Like but, if you go through Washington, Oh my God, you hear that? Washington, that was. Let's just take a moment of I silence. I don't think my voice is cracked. Let's crack take a moment of silence. Like let's 10. just mute. Press that little red button. Let's just take a moment of silence for that voice crack. Okay, we're back. Um, yeah. So I guess uh, <laughs> when I went to Canada when I was a kid to go see Niagara Falls. Isn't Niagara Falls all the way by New York? Yeah. Oh. So, uh, no, 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 no. So we went to, we drove because we were in a, the Portuguese band for our hall. And we drove from RP to Washington and then went through the like actual like border thing from Washington to Canada. And then we went from an airport in Canada over there and then came back and drove. So it was a pretty cool experience. Um, I was a child, so I don't really remember much, but I remember seeing niagara falls so why do you say it like that i don't know i just don't <laughs> want to have people think that i'm saying a different word word yeah niagara niagara viagra Fa- viagra, falls. viagra sponsors please yeah gianni really needs it yeah i do yeah. <laughs> all those cigarettes really been hitting yeah. <laughs> the blood circulation ain't pumping enough blood so i can't feel the tips of my fingers or the tip of my dick no more it's so over. I, when I when I used to go to high school, um, I used to wake up in the morning like seven a.m., dude, and like my fingertips would be like purple. It was weird. I had no clue why. So I wake up, and my like fingertips were just straight purple. When I was a kid <clears throat> during grade school, my parents used to work like eleven and twelve hour days, uh-huh. so we'd have to get to school at like five, and the school wouldn't open till seven. Yeah. So we'd have to sit on the sidewalk outside of our school, me and my sister, like two hours for two hours. Jesus, raining, hailing. Whatever it was, we had to sit there and Literally wait. thunder hits right next to you. You're like, well, another day. We would have to wait there. Yeah, another day in paradise. Yeah, we'd have to do that in, like, <laughs> in Stockton. Yeah. And we were just like... Fuck. That dirty 209, baby. That's a fucking bunk-ass 209. When are we going to go, dude? I want to get some food, bro. I need to get a haircut. You need to take me and my white-ass girlfriend to Stockton. <laughs> I need to get a haircut. Two white kids with one little Mexican dude. <laughs> I need to get my like hair trimmed because I'm getting a lot of split ends. So when I go then, Ew, what? I have to. I probably take. Why? Just grow it out. I am growing it out. But I know, it's, but just it's healthy for your hair to get like ch- trimmed. I don't care. Yeah, well, your hair is like garbage anyway, so it doesn't matter. I just died again. <laughs> I just died. Again. I just fuck it up. Even more. I want to do the platinum, dude. I want to be. He's a phantom. I want to do Danny Phantom, dude. Oh, let's talk about like, dude. We could talk about like, our like kid shows, like The Courage of Carly Dog and SpongeBob. I watched a lot of SpongeBob as a kid. As a kid, dude, my favorite shit. The shit that rocked with me the most was Courage, without a doubt, because that show was <laughs> fucked up. Return <laughs> the slab. Flapjack. Return the. S- <laughs> Flapjack was Flapjack. crazy, dude. Flapjack that shit was, was a fever insane. dream. Holy fuck! Watch that shit Saturday morning cartoons, bro. I'd be fucked in the head the rest of the day. 
Captain Knuckles. Captain Knuckles. <laughs> or Chowder. Bobby. Chowder, Chowder was crazy. <laughs> Chowder you was take some lots of time and then into eggs and some pie, and then you mix it in your body and shit it all out. It's not the theme song I remember. Uh, whatever. How does the chowder one go again? You take the moon and you take the sun. <laughs> you, take you take everything, everything that seems like fun. fun. You turn it, it up and, and then you're done. Rada, 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 rada. Come on, let's cook it. Yeah. Yeah, fucking uh, Twilight. Twilight's great. You ever watch Twilight? The movies? Yeah. Like the vampire movies? Yeah, yeah. I've watched the first one. We should do a marathon. For what? It's a good ass, good ass movies. I watched them with my girlfriend one time, bro. They're terrible. I love them. Like they're actually bad. Like no, they're they're genuinely like bad acting. Yeah, like they're, they're really funny. bad. There's one scene where Edward's dad, uh, he, he's a doctor, and he walks in to come help uh, Bella, mm. and he walks in, and his whole face is white, like a vampire, right? But his makeup ends at his chin, so <clears> his <throat> neck is just like pure human, and his hands are pure human too. So it's it's hilarious as shit because you could 100 percent tell. It's funny as fuck. They're such bad movies. I love them, dude. I, they're so funny. They're and too Bella awkward so for me. Like, dude, it's so funny. How they're too awkward, awkward is, for me, man. I get so uncomfortable. I hate awkwardness. I hate silence. I hate all that shit. I don't have anything plugged in below. So for me, watching that movie is like, oh god, please, <laughs> please, stop. the love of God, please stop, please. But um, it's terrible. But that makes it great. Yeah, but you know, like, <laughs> oh, Stormy's watching. Fuck you. It's a great movie. Is that her? Yeah, Thuns. It's so fucking. It's awful. I'm gonna go grab her. She can make a co-appearance real quick. Co-appearance real yeah, quick. Co- co-appearance. Keep the keep the keep the masses entertained. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah. I fucking. I can't stand awkward silences. We were doing like Omegle like weeks ago, and um, the motherfucker would come on right, and I was talking to this girl right, and she would like say like one word every minute, and I would just be like, yeah, this, this, and this, and she was like, you hate silence, don't you? And I'm just like, I just don't want it to be awkward. Because it's too, it's too much. It's too much for my soul to have some shit like that, man. It really is. It's too much for my soul, give your bro. Opinion. Sit down in the chair and give your opinion. Give your opinion on the stream, man. Yes. Your opinion, man. Say some, say some. I was some, the only person who was watching, right? So. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. We don't get many viewers anyways. Yeah. Say some atrocious shit. Atrocious? Like some awful ass shit. Like the high school kids that I live next to, I fucking hate. Because every time I walk by, there's always this group of volleyball girls, like high school girls, who will cat call me. And it's the fucking worst. And I'm like, bro, you are 14. Why are you fucking doing this? Are they like calling you like daddy like cat calling or like... Like, oh yeah, it's awful. Yeah, I fucking hate it. I'm like, oh God, please. So now when I drive out of my fucking house, I drive like 90 miles an hour so they can't see me. <laughs> it's the fucking worst. Yeah, Fuck, I wanna girls just, are terrible. I just want to fucking destroy that school. Just drop one of those nuclear bombs right on top of it. Blow my house up too with me in it. Just fuck my shit up. Just fuck my shit up. Oh, I love it. But I love it. Like, I can't watch the first movie without cringing because it's so bad. It's I fucking, terrible. I get like fucking acid reflux when I watch that movie. That's how fucking bad you, like, it is, man. Because it's so bad and you're like so ashamed. Like, oh I had to God. watch it with um. Carol made Charlie and Sam watch that fucking movie. And it, it was at my house. And it was on my TV. And we were watching it. And I remember just sitting on my bed, right? And I'm looking at these people that are in my house. I'm like, bro, we're dead ass fucking sitting here watching Twilight right now. I'd rather be dead. On oh, God, I'd rather just blow my fucking brains out right now. Please <laughs> stop making me watch this movie. You haven't seen the other ones after the first one? No, my mom... My mom read all the books when they first came out. Right. So, like, when it came out, she took, like, me and my family to go watch it. And I was just like, ooh, this is oh, bad. Oh, you saw it in theaters. Yeah, I saw it in theaters when it came out. That and Harry Potter. I saw the last, like, three Harry Potter movies in the theaters. He hasn't seen Harry Potter. I forgot I watched Harry Potter. So, like, for the last, like, ten years, all of my friends were like, you gotta watch Harry Potter. I was like, I don't know, fucking, I've never seen that shit. Oh, and then you I see the biggest one. <laughs> And then I seen when I got COVID, I rewatched all the movies. I was like, I've seen these fucking movies. Wait, that I've seen these shits. Yeah, I remember this. The dude with the fucking glasses and shit, man. Yeah, I know this. Fucking. 
Okay. Also, if you want to know something cool, if you're a big Harry Potter fan, you can do this thing where if you go on a Siri and say Lumos, or however it works, right? Lumos. It will turn the flashlight on, and then if you go fucking Knox, it will turn the shit off. Oh, it didn't fucking work. It just brought up my contacts for whatever reason. Knox. Okay, bitch, whatever. Fucking stupid ass Siri. It worked last time I did it, alright? All my all my homies hate Melina. All my homies hate Melina. Thank you for the guest appearance. Uh, we don't want the dog in here. It smells like shit. Okay, guest appearance is gone. <laughs> Never gonna happen again. I'm streaming for about an hour now. Oh, so recording it. Hour what? Hour. Huh? You can go a little bit longer if you want. Yeah, cut it, I'm we can cut it. Anything. Um. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, song of the day. We can do that for our last part. That's good. That's good. I have a couple, but I gotta narrow it down to one. Already got one. Yeah, real quick. So this dude named D Savage came out with a. It already sounds like trash. Yeah, D Savage came out with an album called BPL recently in 2021. I think it was uh, November or December. And there's one song number 14 called "Keep On Trying." On that album, great song. Sunny day, sunny night. That um, That's what I've been blasting for the past like week. For me, it's uh, I wish by Stevie Wonder. Great song, great song. I, I wish by Stevie it. Wonder. Check it out, man. You ever seen that video of Stevie Wonder shooting a fucking free throw? Does he airball? <laughs> he swishes it. <laughs> and people are making jokes like, "No shit, this motherfucker can't see, bro." Like he just swished a free throw. I. I know for a fact that motherfucker can't see, because yeah. when he plays music, he is the worst musician I've ever seen with his movement. Because he'll do this thing when he's playing music, he'll go. Really? And I'm like, I know for a fact he can't see himself doing that. <laughs> I know he can't. Bro. I can tell just as, as him being a musician that he's blind because the way he plays is yeah. very different than how normal people who can see play so now you're being racist towards black people you said normal people normal people isn't yeah well, blind I, people are normal too you know? I guess they just I'm have a deficiency in their eyes okay Defi what deficiency in their eyes man <laughs> what? um <laughs> i guess seeing people versus non-seeing people yeah true he plays differently it's the same with jeff healy Sunny jeff healy is a uh, uh blind blues guitarist and he plays with the guitar flat on his lap like a steel guitar and what I play like fuck? that, and he fucking shreds. Huh. Um, have you ever seen Roadhouse? I gave you some Roadhead, but uh, yeah, I've seen Roadhouse. Is that the one where they fight? Yeah, it's got Patrick Swayze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the blind guitarist. That's the that, dude that has a pink soap or whatever. Pink what? Pink pink soap? Or is that Fight Club? Fight Club. That's pink Fight soap. Club. Yeah, yeah, I've seen Roadhouse. Roadhouse though, yeah. is better. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. Yeah, I hate Brad Pitt. I think he's. Uh, you gotta watch. I mean, did you watch The Gift? That movie with Jason masturbate him. Great fucking movie. <laughs> Great movie. Oh, yeah, you told me about that movie. Dude. Oh, no, 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 no. I know about that movie, and I'm not watching it. Why? Because all the naked horse things at the end of it. What are you talking about? Naked <laughs> What? Is that not the fucking... No, that's not... Does that not have Lakeith Stanfield in it? No. Oh, it's a different movie then. All yeah, right. The Gift. It was made in 2019, and it's with Jason uh, Bateman, and there's some other girl... I forget what the fucking name is. Master she, Bateman. Yeah, Master Bateman. And it's about him uh, going and moving out of high school to get a crazy job and then getting able or being able to move back with his girlfriend back to his hometown. And he meets up with one of the, like his old high school friends, air quote, air quote, air quote, high school friends. And it's, uh, they're like trying to be cool together, but he doesn't remember him too much. And then he finally like gives him his name. And he's like, oh, fuck, I used to bully this kid in high school. And now this kid that he bullied in high school is, like, taking over his life now. So it's like a total switch up. And it is fucking crazy. It's not like a – it's like a scary movie, but it's not like a horror scary. It's more of like a my heart's racing. I don't know what the fuck yeah. is going to happen next type scary. So yeah. I thought it was – I haven't seen a movie like that in so long that made me, like – Think to myself, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen next. I watched a lot of movies when I had COVID, man. Bovid. Like a lot. Bovid. A lot of fucking movies, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. I've never watched so much TV in my life. I don't watch Star Trek. Just for the fuck of it. I can't get into it. Why not? 
I've seen movies of it. Spock. And I'm like, oh man, that's all right, I guess. I don't know. It's just stupid to me. I watched it a lot as a kid because my dad really liked it. But, yeah, my mom's a huge Star Trek fan. Yeah. But my dad literally like has Star Trek figurines in his room and shit. I have like I'm a Star Wars fan, so to me it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still gotta finish our Boba Fett head. That's another thing. Well, fuck that thing. Sunny day, sunny night. Sunny D's nuts. But uh, yeah. There's also that. Your crackhead friend give you this? Yeah, it's probably laced with like meth, meth or. Um, I ran into a fentanyl or something. A homeless person at a Starbucks. One. How do you? The bar is too long to put. Well, you put it on me, so. But how? Let me see it. I feel like I'm dying. Ah, you take work. one of yours. You take one of mine. Yeah, it's, it'll match your aesthetic, you know? Yeah, it does, because it has turquoise on it. Yeah. Um, Go ahead, bro. Take that, bitch. I don't want it. All right. I'm not going to wear it. Pay $10 for that thing, man. $10? I know. It does have a skull. I do like that. Yeah. You know what? This is kind of... You know what? You know what, bro? Fuck with the vibe, dog. You know what? Yeah, fuck with the vibe. Merry Christmas, motherfucker. Yeah. Since I didn't get you a gift. Where's mine? I didn't mine? Get you one either. Where's my gift? <laughs> Where's my gift? Hey, bro, where the fuck is mine at? <laughs> you just give me head or something. How I mean, I? dab uh, me up. Put this on me. Damn, Come bro, on, we man. getting sexual up in this yeah, bitch. God damn. Man. Put that shit on me. Sunny day, sunny Let me kiss you on your neck, homie. Hey, hey. I'm going to get real, real close to you. So how do I, how did you do it? So you got to like put the, like the bracelet itself actually kind of through the thing. Really? Yeah. And then pull it up. There you go. Hey, there you go. let's fucking go. It's See, kinda, matches the aesthetic, you know? It's actually kind of nice. I do like that, actually. Yeah. Fuck it. It's a little big. Yeah. I got I got small hands. I do, too. Small, it was big on me, too, so I just said fuck it. Small hands. You know what's a good question? What's an insecurity you have? And then talk about how... My teeth. Ever since I was a kid, my teeth. Why? Um, so when I grew up, I had really straight teeth, uh -huh. no gaps, no nothing. So I have a gap in between my front two teeth and my bottom row of teeth are all crooked. Just get Invisalign. I want to, but uh, they're I'm super too, cheap. I'm too lazy. But um, the reason that that happened was because I had really straight teeth, never had any like issues with my teeth. I only had like two cavities maybe when I was a kid. And one day, my dad used to play softball for with all of his friends. Like, they had a softball team, and um, me and my brother went, and we were playing with the the baseball bat and the softball. So I was pitching to him and I did the underhand pinch and he smacked the ball and it went straight into my mouth. Literally like cracked me in the face. And I was just like pouring blood profusely out of my mouth and like my teeth were all sorts of fucked up. So now my adult teeth when they grew in, they just grew all fucked up. So hmm. that's probably like one of the biggest insecurities. Do you still have it or have you gotten over that insecurity? I'm over it now. Cause How'd I you get over it? You just don't care? No, I just stopped giving a fuck. Okay. Everything kind of went away in high school. Like, senior year of high school was really where I was just like, why the fuck do I care what other people think about this shit that I do or wear? Why the fuck? They're not going to fucking do anything for me. Yeah, word. word. Like, the only person that I really gave a fuck about in high school was, like, Mondo. But that's because I'd known him since I was, like, four. Yeah, word. Yeah. So, at that huh. point, the only person I really, like, respected their opinion was Mondo's opinion. So, if he told me, like, yeah, that doesn't look good, I'd be like, all right, yeah, probably doesn't look good. But nowadays, you know me, bro. I just be wearing whatever the fuck I want. You know what I mean? I don't give a shit. Yeah. Word. What huh. about you? Is it your thin ass eyebrows? No, not really. <laughs> not really, <laughs> actually. I never. I used chops. to actually get made fun of for my eyebrows. And I always used to think it was such a stupid thing to get made fun of for. Mm. So I never really cared. Even though I do have super thin ass eyebrows. Yeah, it's yeah. just to me, it's like. That's just normal. Is what it is. You know, yeah, like yeah. I can't feel what I'm going to do. Like darken them with eyeliner or something i don't know you could do like one of those permanent tattoos no i'm all right <laughs> um no it was my hands your hands yeah my hands i have small what hands so to me it was like man this is like super stupid because yeah. i have small hands and you know it's always like guys are supposed to have big hands yeah but every time i like run into someone i run into a girl right that i like her hand is like almost the same size as mine Ooh. and i'm like my hands are skinny but they're long yeah i have f f like fat hands yeah. like my hands are like thick and it's that's what my dad calls working hands they're called working hands like yeah. when your hands are stubby and thick it's like when i go to portugal every two years i meet up with some of my uncles there and their hands are like five times the size of mine and when they hands, when they shake up. my hand they literally like engulf my whole ass yeah hand. put your hand up 
Yeah. They're skinny, but they're long. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, you have piano hands. Yeah. My dad calls piano hands. It's easy to get keys and shit like that. Yep. But um, That's why I was good at piano. Yeah, it was my hands. That was my biggest insecurity. And then kind of woke up one day and I was like, you know what I'm going to do, bro? I'm going to make this shit like my livelihood. So I <laughs> like I started like working. Every job I've had, I've always had to use my hands for. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then guitar, when I would play live and people take pictures of me, they're taking pictures of my hands. Yeah. Right? So I was just like, you know what? Fuck it, bro. I'm going to just make this shit special as hell then. So then I started like wearing rings and shit. I fucking, yeah, I started wearing bracelets and stuff like that. Just became who you are as a person, yeah? Yeah, I just realized that, like, you can't change it, you know? I mean, you could, but... And how could I change the size of my hands? Go to the doctors. <laughs> just inject silicon into my fucking hands. Into, the, like, your fingertips so they grow a little longer? No, but, would yeah, you rather have like... Would you rather have dicks for fingers or a finger for a dick? Could I control the dick finger? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know. Is so it the li- same size as like your dick now? Yeah, yeah, but it would just be this, like an actual. You know, like the, you know the thumb it? people from <laughs> from Spy Kids. It? It's like their head. That would be it. Yeah. Would it have a nail on it? Yeah. I would have you have to like trim, trim the nail. It. Yeah, every month or so. Does it still have a hole to like pee and shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You still like cum and shit. You know what I mean? Still piss shit and cum. I think the dick finger. Yeah, you'd have to do the dick finger. I wouldn't want. Dicks, dicks for, fingers. for fingers. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Super veiny ass fingers. <laughs> just you like, would have oh, working oh. hands then, motherfucker. I'll tell you what. <laughs> but yeah, that would be crazy. Yeah, that'd be fucking awful. I would yeah. hate that. <laughs> fucking fuck that. Yeah, I just uh, one day I woke up and I was like, yeah, this is kind of stupid. I don't really care. Yeah, so I can imagine. Just, yeah, and that was it. So yeah, fucking. Just All right. Trying. Would you rather have like toes for fingers? Uh, or fingers for toes. Fingers for toes. Why? Because that's like the hand versus foot. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Your foot is not going to change shape, right? Your foot's going to stay the exact same, but it's going to be your fingertips. Still, still fingers for toes. Like that, right there. I would just bend my fingers and walk. Yeah. Yeah. And then this would be like your toe, but like this big. Yeah. So you'd have exactly. like fingers like so that. So I'd big. rather have fingers for toes. I guess, yeah. Yeah. I feel like it'd be harder to hide that, though. You'd be, like, wearing a size fucking 15 harder shoe. Harder to hide. You put it in your shoe, your hands. People can see. Imagine if you had, like, this much of fingers. Yeah, I'd just ball out. <laughs> like, dab me up, dog. You couldn't even grip your own dick. I don't need to. I jerk off with my mouth, so. Ew. Uh, but, uh. Have you ever tried to suck your own dick? I have, in high school. <sighs> I tried. And then I, pull, I pulled something in my back, and I never tried again. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up. I gave up so like, quick. Oh shit! And yeah, I gave up like, so ah, quick. Ah, yeah. bitch, ah, I gave up so quick. I I never got up that quick from a fucking injury. I got up <laughs> so fucking quick and ran out. Came back to my bed and just laid in bed like you paralyzed. Slipped, you slipped a disc, and your doctor goes, "How did you do this?" Like, I was trying to suck my own dick, dog. I was trying to throw my own dick, dog. I was trying to put that shit in my stomach. <laughs> I'm bro. sorry, doc. Please, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Yeah. So you never tried? No. Man. No, I haven't. <laughs> there are guys out there who are like, every guy has tried. No, that's a fucking lie. Yeah, that is. That's it, a lie. It's a lie, yeah. That's a, no, that's, that's not. That's like true. saying that every guy sits peeing down. It's like, uh, not a lot of people actually do that. Exactly. Like, once you hit like a certain age, you pee sitting down. It's for guys who like, want to make themselves feel better about trying to suck their own dick. They're like, oh, every guy does it. No, that's not fucking yeah, true. Yeah. All right. At least I'll own up to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give credit where credit's due. Fuck. No, I have not tried to do that. <laughs> it was fun, man, until I slipped that fucking disc. <laughs> and then I got in bed and just felt you're paralyzed. Like, ah, 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 yeah. And then your fucking goddamn back just yeah, explodes. And then, you're like, Ugh, And fucking. then I just laid in bed paralyzed for like two hours. And I was your like, I'm never going to move mouth. again. Yeah, never going to move again. Oh, God, I hope I don't nut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I hope I don't nut. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna wrap up here. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining. Thanks for listening. We appreciate every single one of you guys. Remember to uh, subscribe on YouTube and follow on Twitch. Also subscribe now because I'm an affiliate, so you can do that. You're an affiliate. Yeah. So I finally hit it. Congratulations, man. Appreciate that, home skillet. But uh, yeah, when you watch it on YouTube, remember to follow the channel Road to Hell Podcast uh, on YouTube. I think the link is on our Twitch. Did you come up with an outro? No. I didn't think of that shit, dude. Fuck. It's all right. What are we? What are we thinking for an outro, though? I don't know. Fucking. Uh, I don't know. It could just. It could just be it. 
Like we don't maybe we don't even need an outro. Maybe we just say thanks for listening, bruh. Yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you guys are here on Twitch with us, and uh, we will catch y'all next time. We uh, next episode we'll talk yeah. about horrible shit again, just yeah. like usual. Sucking our own dicks and yeah, what are we gonna freeze frame like Nardwar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Have a good night.